guys my name is ankush kaurav and i welcome you to gone to series in this tutorial we going to talk about web service fundamentals so what's a web service in simple words it's all about developing a software application in such a way that it can allow other software applications to make a call to its methods so if this is a web service application which has exposed these two methods to the outer world then any other software application developed using any language can make a call to these methods an application which makes a call to the methods of a web service application is in general known as a client application and web service application itself is in general known as a service provider an important point to note over here is client and service provider may or may not be developed using same programming language so it may happen a service provider is developed using java and its client is developed using c c sharp or any other programming language another important point to note over here is client and service provider may or may not be present on the same machine if both are present on different machines say m1 and m2 then there has to be some network connecting them for example a lan a wan an internet or some other network guys every software is developed by following certain standard rules in the similar manner a web service application too is developed by following certain standard rules if a developer follows all rules as specified in so protocol while developing a web service application then that application will be called as a so based web service application and if he follows all rules as specified in rest guidelines then that application will be called as a rest based web service application let's first understand the working of a so based web service application with the help of a real life analogy and later in the immediate next tutorial we're going to talk about rest based web service concepts in detail all right guys in real world what are basic information a person needs for ordering a pizza at home Firstly he would need to know about the phone number of the pizza store guy Secondly he would need to know about all pizza options available with their prices and some more related information Here the person ordering a pizza is a client and the pizza store is the service provider Usually client gets all such information through the pizza store's website or brochure So once he has all the details he can happily make a phone call to the pizza store guy and place an order The important point to note over here is without all such basic information client cannot utilize the service offered by the pizza store In the similar manner in the programming world too client has to know about certain basic information about the web service application without which it cannot make a call to any of its methods basic information like the exact location of it you know the ip address and port number where that web service application is running the exact signature of the methods which that web service application has opened for other applications and other related information so big question is how does a client get this information guys the idea is a developer puts all such basic information of his web service application in a file in an xml format and provides it to all users who want their application to utilize services offered by his web service application so once the client has this file it can happily make a call to the methods of that web service application this file you know which contains all basic information of a specific web service application is very popularly known with the name of wsdl web service description language guys in this real life analogy both client and pizza store guy make sure when they communicate over phone they both speak in a language in a format which both can understand let's say here both agree 
to communicate in English language using English grammar format. In the similar manner, when a client here makes a call to the method of a web service application and web service application in turn sends a response back to the client, both communicate to each other using SOAP format, also called as SOAP protocol. You know, it's like the way here client and pizza store guy use uh, English grammar format to communicate with each other. Here, client and service provider use SOAP protocol to communicate with each other. SOAP protocol basically says communication between two softwares should happen in an XML format by following certain rules, which I'll talk about in detail while showing a demo on how to create a web service application and its client. For now, an important point to note over here is client and service provider both communicate to each other using SOAP protocol. And as a result, this web service application is termed as a SOAP based web service application and its client is termed as a SOAP-based client. Guys, let me tell you one more important point before I wind up this tutorial. A SOAP-based web service application and its client most commonly use HTTP as the protocol while sending messages to each other over a network. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk about REST web service concepts in detail. All right? Guys, a big thank you for liking my tutorials. If you have any feedback or comments, please provide them below the video or simply write to me on this email ID for all of your queries. Please hit the like button if you really like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Gone to Series and I'm going to catch you in the next part of this tutorial.